Christian, uh, obviously, you know, recently the fashion world has lost not one, but two greats and Andre Leon Talley and Thierry Mugler. How much of an impact have these two had on the fashion world for you and just fashion in general? Yeah, I think it's, I, I think, um, you know, we all kind of been saying it's fashion has had a really hard month. Um, first with Virgil, then Terry, then, you know, then um, Andre, you know, I think it was a pretty intense uh, few weeks for a lot of people because I think, you know, a lot of people forget that like a lot of designers, you know, everybody kind of in some industry is affected by fashion. Um, people that just go to their, you know, everyday jobs, like everyone is affected in some way in this business, in this industry. So I think when you losing a great, um, like an Andre who, you know, who I think was such an icon and did so many things in the publishing world, like Nina was talking about earlier today, um, that was hard for that world of people to lose. Um, and I'm sure a lot of young aspiring editors that want to work for a magazine, um, that's hard. And then Mugler, Mugler was, did, did things and made clothes that nobody could even ever make or understand in his day. Like it was so insane, the clothes that he made. Um, and for a long time was really made fun of actually at first, they were costumes, they weren't anything. Then they were celebrated, then they became this iconic thing. And, and I think same with Virgil, you know, Virgil has this whole young generation completely obsessed with him because he's young, this young, black, talented, amazing designer who literally heads one of the largest houses in the world. It, you couldn't compare those things. So I think everybody had their, all these different types of feelings and emotions. And that's why I, I know Brandon and I talk about this. We just want to like make it to the next day, the next collection, keep going. We always like hope for the best and hope there'll be another one um, because you really just never know. Um, which is why I think shows like Project Runway are really important because these young designers need something to inspire, aspire them and inspire them and, um, so I think, it, I, I hope, we hope that um, it does. I think it does. It yeah, and I think also like, just to tap on, you know, onto that, like I think what's also so painful about it is that these are people who brought such extraordinary joy into the world. Like yeah. so much joy. And it comes at a time when there's nothing we need more than that. And so it, it hurts so much more to to um for that to happen because the the bigness the the overflowing joy creativity uh, zest for life that you know each one of them had it will be so so sorely missed um you know and it's it's just such a loss yeah and just to chime in i think bringing it bringing it back to the show like as you said, it, it, as everyone has said, it's been such a challenging time in the business. It's also been such a challenging time in the world. Um, I, there's no one who's been left unaffected by the COVID pandemic. We're going, you know, two years into this, three years. It, it's, it's, I think there's, there's a, a weight that we've all been carrying. And so I think this show to Brandon's point, like we've never needed something joyful to look forward to week after week more than we do now. And I think this show offers this like rush of creativity into people's lives and, and, and they're giving, we give, like, I feel like this show gives people something to root for, to feel good about something that brings the, your whole family together across generations, across different industries. Like Christian said, no matter what industry you work in, in some way, fashion does influence your life and it does give you something to dream about. And I just, it feels really good to be a part of a show like that. Um, and it felt like that for us, frankly, when we were shooting it, like, we, like Brandon said, we hadn't seen a fashion show in a really long time. So being able to come back to work, to do what we love, to give a platform to these young designers, these emerging designers to do what they love was just an absolute joy. And I think that translated on screen, I think people feel that from the show. And I really do think it resulted in one of the best seasons the show's ever had, in my personally personal bias opinion. <laughs> that Housewives episode kept me going for weeks. Uh, girl, <laughs> Us too. Us too. Barely, I barely made it through. 
That was fantastic. It was a fantastic episode. Christian, uh, Lane, Brandon, Tommy, Nina, thank you all so much for taking the time to chat with me. I cannot wait to check out the, pan- on the finale, excuse me, tonight at nine on Bravo. Thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you. you. People, you can get to the Project Runway finale tonight at 9 p.m. on Bravo. 